Hey, my name is Anna Parra. And this will be a little bit different from what I usually do. As you can see from the title, this is Red Dead Redemption 2. And I have I haven't recorded any of this on my channel, but I've been playing this <coughs> for since it was released like after a couple days from the release day. But <coughs> I haven't had much time to like spend time with this. I have been playing it a little bit here and there. But fine. since I have hello. Since I have a lot of games to play, you know, I can't play many games at the same time. But also also I want to say if if you haven't finished this and you want to avoid spoilers, it's your time to shush. It's your time to go away because this will have major, major spoilers. Now the reason why I wanted to include this on my channel is because this game has touched me a lot. A little background before we hop on to it is that Arthur, my boy. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry I keep making the noise. I've been sick for the past week. That's why I haven't been active on YouTube. I'm really sorry about it. I've been also busy with my project and playing Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I just wanted to be fully recovered before I hop on to the video. So I'm like <clears throat> on my normal energy level ish or something. What comes to my mental health? We ain't gonna talk about that sis. It's still the shit. But Arthur, um, first, I wasn't a big fan of him. I mean, I was like, mm, okay, <laughs> like, I want John, okay, give me John. But then it took a couple days, if not even the same day, when I actually started to like him. I mean, he has own kind of humor, you know, and he's actually really wise man and a good-hearted one as well i mean we have all make mistakes even arthur and he will learn from them and he tries to be a better man at least now <laughs> but but yeah and also my my girl harold they weren't ra lying when they say that you 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 will like your horse i mean i love her she's been there for me so long time uh, she is black arabian horse i love her she's so cute coming disney and i love arthur and i'm not ashamed i'm lesbian but i love a man a character <laughs> but i'm sure i'm not the only one who loves that man now what comes to the to the story Oh, and I also love Sadie. I mean, damn. I ship her with Arthur. I wish they could have a relationship. Arthur deserves some love. But also this game. I mean, the graphics, the story, they're really good. Except Dutch and his goddamn plans. I fucking hate him. And Micah. Ugh. And the damn Odriscoll. Goddamn Odriscoll. And I mean the hunting uh, mechanism, or uh, what do you want to call it? Oh my god, this intro will be longer than my life. How is that possible? Anyways, the hunting is so amazing. I like the guns. I like the that you can eat <laughs> and like all that stuff. It's so much upgrade to the first one, obviously. The first one was in 2010, but anyways, you get it. It's also really similar to GTA 6, which makes sense. Same company. But yeah, I think that's good enough for the intro. <coughs> oh, also my friend helped me with the with the uh, missions. Like I asked him what are the, the important ones to include. He actually also told me like, hey, you should record it. 
But I also want to, I want to tell you something. I know somewhat how it will end. Like I, I saw spoilers. I tried to avoid them so hard, but I couldn't because when I went to YouTube and I scrolled down on my feet, and then I see Red Dead Redemption, blah blah blah, and then there is the title straight away what would happen, and then the thumbnail, and I'm like, thank you. And then on uh, Facebook, I'm on the group of Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously, they they didn't even put they didn't even put spoiler. They just straight up said it. I was like, nice, thank you. You broke my heart. But I still know my my reaction will be legit. I can't fake, okay. And except fake that I'm okay, <laughs> but that's about it. Um, <clears throat> even though I know what will happen, it's not like I know exactly because I haven't seen. I have just seen like people saying this, people saying that. I like obviously anyone would know if you're at this point of the game. Anyone could know what will happen, but as I said, I don't know exactly how it will go down. But even my friends say that it will be worth it, even though I know, but I don't know exactly. So here is the mission that we wanted to include. So here we go. Jose? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Also, his voice on point. I really like the voice acting in this one. And then the characters are really unique. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember. But maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present. Their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <clears throat> I also like that he got a haircut and all that stuff. It's been really intense, I mean, damn. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? 
When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This is also my first first video I record in 2019, <laughs> but probably not the first that I upload. I've been working on the year thing, even though I was sick. And I was supposed to upload it on the 31st, 31, whatever. But I was just feeling too weak, I mean, it was horrible. Also, the music in this is so awesome. Really like it. <clears throat> Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. It oh. does have glitches, but every game has them these days. This way. Haru, don't shit. <laughs> Hola, gentlemen. What's cooking? Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? What am I doing? They're uh, friends of my people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> he could go like. Uh, they won't cause any <clears throat> well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force Wasn't him me. making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. 
and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Well, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. Go, Arthur. Amigo. Yeah. But shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Yes. <laughs> oh, Arthur. Get off me. Good boy. Fuck you, bitch. Come on, Haru. Iko. Wait, what the hell? I wanted to be on that fucking thing. I hate to use the dead eye like this, but this is the gun that, you know, I can only use it once. What the hell? Fucker. No, we're not sitting anything. Oh. Well. Hee <laughs> hee, a little present for you, everybody. <clears throat> wait, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 wait. Of course. Of fucking course. Monroe, you alright? Okay. Let's go with Haru. Haru is a good horse. Haru. Oh, sorry. I like Charles' horse. I, I like the colors. I like the little dots on the ass. Oh, it's the fucking shoulder. You better die, bitch. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Where did he go? I didn't even see. Why is Charles looking at me all the time? Come on, Charles. Don't stare at me. Want something? Oh, now you're pissed? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a little bit clumsy with the horses. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. 
Here's some money. We take it and get out of here and start our new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Fucking Just hop Tahiti. Just on a train of sand to me, <laughs> jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh... Uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid, and my daddy, well, I watched him die, and it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. <sighs> okay, that doesn't count. <laughs> I wanted to pay fully attention to this. Uh, my heart broke when he was like, I'm afraid. Like, I have been... I saw uh, a screenshot of that. And my heart broke when I saw that. But now it it sank, okay? Sank in the deep hole, basically. Ah, <sighs> fuck me. Oh, Morgan. Arthur Morgan. I didn't even know he had a son. Or then I just haven't paid attention. Fuck my life. But yeah, that was the first part. I'm gonna... Put the last one in the same video. But... Yeah. That's some heavy stuff. I mean, I can't imagine how it would feel like if, if you would know that you will, like, die soon. We all know we will die 
eventually but like if you would be sick and it would be something that can't be cured that time TB was like sentenced to death nowadays there there is hope oh my god Jesus Christ I got scared <laughs> oh my god here we are the next day what you talking about my makeup will be left. so right <laughs> Old uncle, <coughs> the traitors, both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. Nice. Oh, it goes. They are goddamn cowards, Arthur. Cowards. Mm -mm. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well, but. We, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more and train. And a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan we rob uncle sam and we leave <laughs> the poetry of it all what do you think it sounds wonderful hell yeah i ain't got much to lose but you know the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. I hate him. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. He never changes his clothes. Flourish. Jesus we Christ. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah. I hate Dutch. He's so thirsty and just <clears throat> He's annoying, always with his shitty ass plans. Have some faith. Have some faith. Faith in my ass. Okay, Haru. Let's pick up the pace. Train is due in San Denis in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys heading home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Anderson. Fucking Micah as Waiting well. Down by the river to collect the money. Sadie we is my is my girl. And then we got a short time Fuck to everybody. Stop the train before it reaches the <laughs> patrol. I was so sad. You go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. I was also so sad when I saw Halsea die. And then Lenny died. He was so goddamn young. Should be just through these trees. 
But then I also read somewhere there that whole is. whole <laughs> set. I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. It's in the back. That Jose was also sick with the TB or something. That he was going to die eventually, so I don't know then. Let's get the dynamite, bye bye. Boy. You're right, girl. That's my girl. Favorite right. quote from, from Arthur. Come on. The train's on its way. Wait. So that little dynamite? Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Nice. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Fucking twat. Hey, Sadie. Ah, there you are. Got everything? Yeah. Then off we go. Off we go, indeed. One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. Tahiti. As long as it isn't Guarma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. They're All coming into coming me? Together, nah, I'm just kidding. Just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? We Shut the fuck up. That's yeah. Quiet, all of you. Fucking Micah, you fucking sick bitch. Jose and Lenny died in here, okay? I lost my money in poker. In here. I passed out in here. So shut the fuck up, you fucking cunt. I thought Dutch is okay, like in the beginning. I didn't remember him from the first game. It's been years since I played it. But then with his plans, I got tired of it. He's just... Oh shit. When something doesn't go like Dutch ones, he gets butthurt and just... Ugh. Hashtag, we hate Dutch. Leave a like if you hate Dutch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. No, I'm thirsty for likes. Oh my god, my hair. <laughs> You board Wait, who's Cleet? Along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Choo choo! Ah, oh, yeah, that Cleet is the new dude. Micah's friend. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Oh, it doesn't well, stop. <laughs> everybody mount up. We're still going through with this. Of course we are. <laughs> it 
I can't. Haru. I'm sorry. Come on. We gotta get on that train. Hey, what the hell? I'm trying. Hey, Sadie with us. Hell yeah. What about Dutch? Hmm? Hmm? He doesn't do shit. He left me in the place. Almost I died. Died. Arthur, come on. I'm coming. Ooh. Dang. Must have been hurt. Hey, what? 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 Did you see the horse? <laughs> Fuck you, I say. Ah, fuck. Hello. Maybe. Yeah, baby. I'm doing all right. Where's Sadie? That's all I care about. <laughs> oh my god, what are you are made of? We're not even covered, I mean, doesn't even matter at this point. Dang. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Ooba -ooba. Oh, there was one. Sorry, I didn't see ya, buddy. Woo! Ah, fuck. Wait, it, it had dynamite? Oh, that's hard. Uh, that's hard. Come on! We can't get through the smoke! Come on, let's go! Where's my horse? Fucking Dutch. Do I really have to? Can I choose someone else? Ah, there's my car. Oh, fuck. Oh, come, you fucking cunt. Get going, Bill! Where were you before? Come on, Arthur! Come on, Arthur! Fucking now. pussies. One couple of cash before it blows us all up! Morning. Kill Micah! Lay the gun, Arthur! Oh, oh boy! Nice. Damn, that job. <gasps> well, we know he ain't gonna die, okay? But goddamn, John! Where's Sadie? There she is. My babe. You better you get do, him. Do Yes! I got back. chills. I'm also in pain. Lady problems, you know. Ah, sorry, horses. Go, Sadie. This is epic. I didn't know this will happen. Like the train and shit. Or then I just didn't pay attention. Shut up, Cleet. Or is he even Cleet? Don't worry, Sadie, I got the pum pum. Yeah! Oh shit! Watch your goddamn mouth! <coughs> nice. Okay, the horse survived. We need to go for the money. You and your fucking money. You're worse than Dutch. Can I just push him off? I mean, he ain't shit. Okay, quick. Let's blow up over. Let's go. The 
Sure. This is better. I have the dynamite. Here we go. Yay! That's a hell lot of cash. Morgan, the driver's dead. This thing ain't stopping. We got to get off. Okay then, let's go. Um. Bye bye. Ooh. Move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. Sadie's so that pretty. Patrol killed him. Yeah, we sure. Had to run. Come on, let's go. Don't bullshit. The patrol turns up. Ha, ha. Oh, they have Haru. Haru. Javier, why oh, you don't help me? <laughs> My gang. Wait up. They are so rude. They don't wait. They just... What happened to the gang is a family. You are my son. <laughs> Fucking cunt. Sorry, but I hate him, okay? I look like a ratchet asshole. Red Dead Redemption, oh no. Oh honey. I got my tissue ready. <coughs> hey, we have a call. Arthur, we match. They came and took Abigail. I saved Jack. We hid, but they took Abigail. Who did? Agent Milton and his men took it a Van Horn to be put on a boat Millie. and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's a... Uh, well, sorry, son. Fuck you! Not John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know, <coughs> every man here knows it. So we it. just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you all! Except Sadie. That's that, that. Tilly's so pretty as well. All them goddamn years. God damn. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all. Yes! Woo! Miss Tilly. Hey. Take this. Oh, we. Oh, yeah. Take we. Take this money, too. They didn't Take see Jack. it. Yes. You wait a copperhead landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, yeah? All right, Arthur. I'll, I'll miss. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. God damn it. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. God damn it. Mrs. Adler. Ride with me. Oh, it's on. It's on. It's on. Fucking Dutch. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably. Ah, oh, I'm all. Town. I got the so chills. I going the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, it's fucking known. Damn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. <laughs> I love her. Just follow me, okay? <laughs> ah! Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. 
seems like it was always a lie. It's easy to We're talk. Crazy. Yes. It's also sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. In a us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. To give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. It's what I was going to say. I don't want to talk <clears throat> over them, but it's always easy to talk and then not like show actions or something like that. Just like Dutch, he's all talk and she, but when the time comes, he takes the easy way. Just take the goddamn money. Okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Goddamn plan. That word has a new meaning. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Oh, honey. Uh... Get someplace <coughs> high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. I love her as a character. Okay. She's been through so much. Her husband was shot. And all that bougie. Okay, Mr. Milton. Where are you? Yes. There you are, you bastard. Abigail! Abigail ain't that bad. Sometimes she's annoying, but... You know, Go, girl! <laughs> oh, Sadie. That's my girl. Hey! We did it! Be careful! Shit. No! Wait, where? What the hell? Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Hell, yeah, now Arthur's mad. Arthur's mad, boy. God damn my hair. Why my hair gonna do me like this? Hair? It's fucking on. I'll show you, motherfuckers. Let me take a little thing a look. Oh, damn, son. I didn't see you either. All right, Milton. I don't have my hat. Don't worry! <coughs> yes! Sorry if I'm screaming. This is just too epic. Okay, ladies, let's get out of here. <laughs> Look at Sadie. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> it's you, bitch. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. You with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. <coughs> but I'm gonna be just fine. <laughs> we offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. <coughs> Come on, Abby! Taken it. <laughs> I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? 
Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Son of a bitch! Molly died for nothing! So that's why my friends say like poor Molly. God damn it! Fucking Micah, come on, Arthur! Using your strength, Mr. Morgan! <laughs> Abby! Abby! Abby, Dad! Hell yeah! Woo! Woo! So good! Horrible man. <laughs> Sadie's like, what the hell? Come on, both of you. Yeah, we can come up with the new gang. Damn, they fast as fuck. Wait up! Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened My to hat, Jack? though. Where is he? He's fine. Tilly's got him. Hell yeah! Thank God. I got my fucking neck now. I mean hat, not Every head. I do! Okay, where are the bitches at? Okay, not all die, but... Oh, you got my heart on! Sandy's riding my horse! Fun girling so hard! <gasps> that is so cute! And Abigail has John's horse! That is so cool! When Look Bay rides your horse. Come on! They're too far! Sadie! You still okay there, Abigail? I'm good! I'm good! Good. All what matters to me is that these girls, especially Sadie. Bastards grabbed me outside camp. I was with Tilly and Jack. It happened so fast. I couldn't do anything. It's all right. Jack and Tilly are fine. All what... Ladies. Hey, I'm fine. Hold up a moment. Arthur, there's no time. There's time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't... I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm... He's not dead. I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. Oh, look Mrs. safe. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. They're both so pretty. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat. Before I get much sicker. Oh, Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. Mary was always. Oh, uh, Arthur. Uh, oh, Arthur. You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves. In the back to the left. Hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. It's all our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. <laughs> Always was a good thief. <laughs> that she <you> was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Who? Oh, the old hat. That's why I couldn't toss it. Oh no! The game tells you like ride. 
honey, I've been playing this for months. Or at least weeks. I don't know how how many months I've been playing. How many weeks? I don't know. Oh no, I can't. That's the way. Not yet! Jesus! Man. I just wish you'd done it before you worked yourself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Trying so hard not to cry. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. This game is so fucking good and if you cry you know then that that the game touches your soul and it, it's not a shame to cry because of game people Get cry because of movies up quick, Miss kill Micah come on all of kill. you well we're doing our best hurry we ain't got long hurry we just got plenty of time yeah. oh. <clears throat> we all need to have a little chat Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I'll kill myself. I just saw Agent Milton Dutt. Catch these hands, bitch. Abigail shot him. I, I okay. scratch myself. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. Mm -hmm. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! <gasps> John? Yes! Woo! You left me! You left me to die! My boy. I didn't have a choice. My boy, my ass. You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you. You pick your side. <laughs> Even now the woman. This is I don't remember her name. Get there. All them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> Oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Yes! <laughs> and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Oh, what the fuck? Now! <laughs> Who amongst you is with me? I don't remember her name. Help her! Is betraying me. <coughs> well, <coughs> I'll be. Think, think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. My cock. Put your gun 
Lick my asshole. You ready, John? Yeah. Oh, John, you my brother. God damn it! Oh god. Oh, he's getting so much worse that his aim is, you know. Yeah. Let's keep moving. I am. <laughs> Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Yeah, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> Please be huddle. Huddle. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Lane. And Titty. I mean Tilly. Thank you. Brother. <laughs> Sorry. Tilly. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Fuckers. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> they um. Oh shit. Haro! Haro! They shot my girl. Really? No. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on. Push on. <laughs> The money. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there. I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur, just make the call. Fuck the money. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing My I do. fucking horse! Oh, I read somewhere like they killed my horse and I was like, bitch, what? Don't worry about them. Now I know what they mean. I don't know. I'm so glad I have a lot of saves. I can spend a lot of time with Haru. But that, that just fucked up. That was so sad. Like, thank you. Uh, just when I was going to say that once. Arthur get on Haru, sh he was like, you never let me down. <laughs> this will make me so depressed for the past, I mean, for the next couple fucking days. Ah! What the fuck? Oh my god, Haru. <laughs> Don't you care about your goddamn horse? Will it make it? Hell yeah! <laughs> fuck you for killing my horse! Fuck it, sons of fucks. Oh, I don't want to skip it. Oh, my boy, Arthur. Alright, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. What if you would have go with the money? What would happen? I need to check that no. out. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on, you go. Because I saw like good we ending, bad ending. Not now. Then some secret ending. But I didn't watch them. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. 
You're my brother. And he has the same, uh, the back thing. The same back thing. Like, uh, Ar uh John has the same back thing as, as Arthur had in this one. Obviously they made it like, he has the same in this, because this, Arthur wasn't a character in the first one. They just made it for the second Oh, Micah, you son of a bitch! I got you now, Black no! That's all there is. Living and dying. God damn. <laughs> he can't finish his sentence. <laughs> you got. No! Can't even kill a dying man. <laughs> Go, Arthur. Come on. Show me what you got, boy. Oh, God. This is terrible. This is so epic, you though. Lost. This is so well done. It's you right in the fields first. Me. Killing my horse. Then killing my man. God damn, Rockstar. Hope you're ready for hell. Die. Yes, come on. <laughs> Still got a little fight in you, have you, boy? <laughs> I'm pressing circle and I don't even know do it. Oh, okay. Come on. I can't see shit. Oh, my eyes got blurry. And I'm not even crying anymore. Oh, fuck. Still have makeup? Yeah. Still looking somewhat okay. After we're done, I'm gonna kill Marston too. We all know you ain't gonna kill him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're scum, Yes! Kill him with the fire! Can he just die? Can I kill him? That'd be great. That'd be so satisfying. Killing this fucking bitch. Ah, oh, fuck. No! Oi! Oi, what the? Oh. Oh, hey! Did you hear the sound like. And losing. I can't see shit. Oh, ah, fuck. Ooh. Oh, black lung. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost. My sick friend. You lost. Yeah, Marker. Despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I've won. You're a much better man, Arthur. Much better man. Dutch. It is over. Now. Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's <laughs> talking crazy. Uh, 
Come on. Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us... No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, coward. Come on! On our sails. By we, you mean me. What the One hell? Shot him. Seemed like you he look so weird. Shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Even over video games, I'm not ashamed. I really love Arthur. A lesbian, as I said, a lesbian can love a man. Shut up. He tried to be the best man he can be. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? Was that a sign? About this place. Was Been that a, a sign time. of Arthur? I'm also a highly sensitive person. And my my emotion just go to the maximum, so I'm so sad now. But that scene, oh, Arthur laying there, work I can find. it was beautiful. Some rich he got someone some peaceful too. death. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Just alone there in the nature. So I guess. That was my reaction. I'm not. I don't know. I. I don't know. I'm so sad. I need a break. <laughs> I'm not gonna. That is the end reaction. I'm 
there will not be like anything interesting-ish, I think. At least my friend didn't mention. But goddamn, that was a that was a lot. I will totally play this game all over again once I'm done with this John thing. And I'll visit the graves. I saw that there was the grave spots. Definitely visit those. And <clears throat> I will just feel sad for the couple next days. Totally deserves for me game of the year like the last year. Because I had a blast with the game. I was laughing a lot of times. And <laughs> I was getting emotional a lot of times. And my tears got all the way here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry though. But my makeup. Still good. <laughs> Damn. I was so sad. So goddamn sad. But yeah, this was my reaction <laughs> for the end of the Red Dead Redemption 2, the Arthur, <clears throat> the Arthur, <clears throat> Arthur's death. And my horses, god damn it, they killed my horse. It's very sad. I know it's just a game. I know, but it touches your soul. Especially for me, I get really into the games. I know they're not their fantasy, but for me, it feels it um uh, it takes a lot of feels from me. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> if you, uh, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyways, that was that. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye-bye.